This is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I am here to put in a little request. For those of you churches who do believe in women ministers and female pastors, I am asking you to do us a big favor, okay? I'm asking you to take the time that you take with men. Train us. We need training. We need support. And the sad part is male and female pastors tend to be a little negligent of their female leadership. They will raise up a young man in a minute. They'll snatch a man from another church who has just come into their sanctuary, quoting the name, bearing the name of pastor, bishop, minister, apostle, whatever, and they're tossing them up in their pulpit in no time. And you have women who have been sitting in your churches for years, decades, and it never once occurs to you with the anointing spilling all out of them. It never occurs to you to take the time to develop them as well. That's a sad travesty in the body of Christ. Women are still treated as second-class citizens or uh, as you would call it, uh, a last resort or a second thought, if any thought at all. Please, I plead with you who don't have issues with it, please take the time to look around your congregations and see who could be developed into a wonderful leader. We need leaders in the body of Christ. Even Jesus said, pray that God would send forth laborers into the vineyard because the harvest is, is ripe and it's white, ready to be harvested. But there's no, he said, pray the God of the harvest to send laborers. But you won't develop them. Oh, you'll develop the men. So I ask you to please, all of you pastors and leaders, please look back over your shoulder. Look at your congregation, especially the next time you stand up in your pulpit to bring the word. Look them over and ask God to highlight to you where the leaders are and to show you how to develop them, how to stir up their gifts and, and help them discover their gifts. Please. It's really sad that women are almost on their own when they get out into the, the ministry, the field of ministry. They don't have the support. Listen, I heard this on TV one time. There was a man on TV that talked about he was um, a minister, he was an evangelist. And he fell into some financial hardship. And he contacted a famous minister that he just happened to know because he went to school with him. And when he contacted him, he said, you know, man, I'm really having a hard time financially. I'm, I'm really in a desperate place right now. Is there anything you can do to help me? So the man took his contact information. And before you knew it, the man had so many speaking engagements. Just on this one man's taking maybe 30 or 40 minutes to, to duplicate a letter and send it to all of his contacts. And this unknown all of a sudden became well known. And even a television evangelist because of this one man's letters. But what about the rest of us? I'll just leave you with that thought. God bless you as you enjoy your ministries. Don't forget to reach back and help someone else as they try to find their way and their calling. Okay? God bless you.